Food of life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are drawing this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on. Be a part of the notification. <laughs> okay. That was one for that one person. I forgot his name or her name. That comment under below that my gang ain't that tough anymore. <laughs> All right, let's start this up. So, uh, chicken chow mein, the best chicken chow mein you guys ever make in your life, guys. First things first, I'm sure how easy it is to make the best chicken chow mein ever. Don't blink. First step of making any stir fry, guys, you need everything ready, cut, washed, clean, ready, and prepared. So, we got a beautiful wok here. I got boiling water for my chow mein over here. I got my vegetable ready. You can use any kind of vegetable I want, but I'm just going to keep it simple today. I got some uh, green onions, mushrooms, um, what is this? Shiitake mushroom. I got uh, bean sprouts, uh, dark soy sauce, oil, sugar. Uh, roll over to this side. We got our marinade. We got six, seven pieces actually of dark meat chicken that's just cut into three. We got cornstarch, salt, pepper. Uh, What's this? Sesame oil, Maggie or seasoning, and we got some oyster sauce or soy sauce. You can say. All right. Here we go. Our marinade for seven pieces of dark meat cut into three. We got two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Thanks. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Tablespoon sesame oil. Tablespoon black pepper. And let this marinate. And I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon corn starch. And let that soak in for a bit. Okay, next. So start this up, walk, heating on a high heat. Let's heat this up for about 10 minutes. A lot of you guys from Edmonton asked me, or in Alberta, or in Canada to be the exact, where I get my walk from. I'll show you where I get my walk from. You know this logo. You know this logo. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> this logo right here. You see it? You guys know that logo. PC guys, PC. Is it PC? Yeah, it is PC. Superstore. That's where I got it, guys. Superstore is called a cast iron. That's probably the best wok for your home ever. Versus the other ones. I would say this really does compare to the wok, like the real wok uh, for outside use or restaurant use. This one works as well. Very well, to be exact. Okay, you guys see it smoking? We go in. Just tablespoon of oil. that heat up. Okay. You see it breathing the dragon's breath? Are you ready? Make sure it's breathing dragon's breath before you throw everything in, right?
green onion. Chow meat, boiling water, three minutes. The noodles almost coming out. Our fire breathing wok is breathing. <laughs> it's breathing. No oil. Meat sprouts. Be careful. <laughs> Good try. Bit of soy sauce, oyster sauce, just a touch, guys. Some white sugar. Okay. Chicken going in, mushroom, onions. Chicken chow mein made at home. 
ready to be delivered to you. Just drop me your address, all right? I'm packing it to go right now. You know I got you. You know I got you. I'm coming through. <laughs> You're not coming through, I'm coming through. I got you guys. Ow! There you go. <laughs> Just imagine. Just imagine this, eh? Me bring this to your door and you just open it and oh man, you know that's some good looking chicken chow mein. I got you. Tell me this doesn't give you happiness. Oh man. Come on. That's beautiful. Isn't that the most beautiful thing ever? Look at this. See that glistening? Yeah, you do. <laughs> That's what makes a good chow mein, guys. That glisten, guys. A bite of this. Quit time! That's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mmm. Mmm. That's the most amazing thing ever made at home. Simple ingredients. It's delicious, well seasoned. Has the perfect amount of grease. <laughs> Has the perfect amount of everything. Crunch the flavors to everything. No, quick cut. Let's go. Nice. Super for this. Oh, all right. That's very hot. I want to say this. Uh, if you guys were watching, I didn't add too much seasoning just because I did season the chicken a little well. So that's the reason why I didn't put so much seasoning on the noodles. But if you guys do under season the chicken, you guys do season uh, the noodles, right? Just tasting it just for your liking, all right? I started off with what? How much in the noodles? A tablespoon? A tablespoon to two tablespoon of soy sauce and a tablespoon of oyster sauce and a tablespoon of sugar. And pretty much it just works out perfect, guys. Just follow, just follow my instruction, all right? Mm. Oh man. I just love that wok taste. It's just beautiful. Like in Asian cultures, guys. When you buy Chinese food, any Vietnamese food, any any kind of type of, Viet, of Viet Asian food, you're not supposed to eat this by yourself. <laughs> well, you could, but it's usually shared, right? It's usually shared and not eaten by itself. So let me mix this up. Some of you guys ask me what kind of noodles I use. If you guys go to any Asian supermarket, it should be. It should just be labeled chow mein noodles. Okay, I don't know what's my chopstick technique today. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Mm. I really do miss out or eating out. But I'm here to say.
you can get the same quality taste when made at home. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, Just trying to mix this up. I want to show you guys the perfect amount of glisten on these noodles, which makes it perfect. It ain't greasy, it's glistening. <laughs> See that glisten? I know I said you can put any vegetable in, in your chow mein, but I want to say this first. Try putting just what I put in. Mushroom, shiitake mushroom, onions and bean sprouts, and green onion. Bring out another tool. Just because my chopstick seemed a little flimsy versus this chow mein here. Because it's so nice and compact. Okay, another one. Wait, time. It's got it. So pump this. Get in my mouth. Right here, guys. Mmm. The fork seems more strong on this job here. Just imagine getting these big chunks of chicken in your chow mein. Hmm? How happy would you be? Pretty happy. It's just perfect. Mm -hmm. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Peace out.